Six years ago in October, uh, this year, October would be six years, uh, I was diagnosed with colon cancer. Uh, I had the cancer removed. Uh, six year will be my six year anniversary in October, being done with it. And um, thank you. I had, I had to lose the weight uh, six years ago. I was about 300, uh, 343 pounds. Holy crap. I was 300, 343 pounds. Now I'm at 270, 274, 273 pounds. <laughs> trying to get down, trying to get it out. And I'm telling you something, fellas, we need to be more aware. We do. We need to be more aware of, 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 of our, I know a lot of guys think they Superman. And that's what I like to do. When I do my shows, I like to talk to the fellas and be like, you know what? We need to get our awareness up. Because I'll give you all a real number. Seven out of 10 guys, 70% of guys, will die from either prostate, colon, or testicular cancer. That's real, 70% of us. Because we don't have no awareness, we don't say nothing. We keep it in, we Superman, we don't have to say nothing. I know most men will stand in a crooked position because something hurts. That's tennis. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You go to work, you see Phil, Phil standing like this. You walk past Phil, you're like, Phil, what's wrong? Nothing, it'll go away, leave me alone. <laughs> and fellas, do we help Phil? No, we don't help Phil. We make fun of Phil the whole night. Every time we see Phil, hey, Phil. <laughs> we need to stop. Phil needs to see a doctor, fellas. We need to be aware. We need to, be, we need to get our awareness up like the ladies. Ladies, your awareness is fantastic. Fantastic. If there's something wrong in the female world, you will let everybody know. <laughs> you will stop people. Do you know what today is? But that's good. That's fantastic. You would never let your best friend stand there crooked. Your best friend is crooked. You'd be like, girl, what's wrong with you? What's this? Straighten yourself up, fix yourself up. That's what we need to do, fellas. We need to be like that. Don't go through what I went through. Don't wait till the last minute before you gotta go see your doctor. If it's time to go see your doctor, go see your doctor. Don't go through what I went through, because they did a lot of the stuff back here. <laughs> they did, but I'm glad they got it out. I'm glad it, it was done. I'm, after all my surgeries, after everything was done, after all of that, my recovery, I have a new respect for you ladies now. I do because I had to be y'all for a little bit. For real, when I was going through my recovery from the, from the surgeries, I was still a little, I was still bleeding in the back side, so I had to wear maxi pads for about two weeks. It's not funny. I didn't even know they had a sticky side. I didn't. I didn't know how they worked. Mine just moved around every time I walked. I walked around like, nah, -uh, this is not right. This is not right. This is why they always mad. No, I get it now. Uh uh, uh huh. I had to call my sister up. I was like, how do you keep these things still? She was like, did you peel it? I'm like, did I peel what? She was like, that little piece of paper, what did you think that was? I said, I thought it was an air freshener. I don't know how these work. She was like, no, you idiot. You peel it, stick it, then you're good. So I did. And it was fantastic. <laughs> After that, I was like, okay, there it is, there it is. I was giving random ladies high fives. Stay free, yeah. <laughs> Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.